Good morning, everybody. I'm doing behind the scenes stuff. Sorry about that. I will be live in just a moment. I'm, I'm live on purpose. I just want to show you like the setup scene. So I'll be live in a moment. Enjoy. Meanwhile. Hey, Seven Giggle. I'm still setting up. I am showing some behind the scenes stuff, some sweeping, camera adjustments, raising of the garage. I'm still in flip flops, <laughs> so I'm not ready to exercise yet. But uh, I'm doing a little, like a little snippet of behind the scenes of like how do I get set up and stuff. So I swept the garage on camera, got the mat down, adjusted the uh, garage and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put this into just starting as I put on my socks and shoes and get my water and protein shake. So I'll be starting here probably in about five minutes. So you're gonna start hearing, that's why there's new music or anything because this is behind the scenes, so to speak. How are you doing today, Seb? I've hit a, uh, I'm having an idea for your stream anyway. It's, uh, I send you, um, okay, that's fine. I look forward to that. Yes. Any ideas you want to send my way? Fantastic. I appreciate that. I always uh, love suggestions. So you can see I get the headphones out. I plug it into my ear. I make sure it's connected to uh, the speakers so I can hear what's going on over here on, on screen as you all play messages. So there's a lot of things I do behind the scenes when I get out of bed in order to... Um, Get ready for an exercise stream. I have a little desk. I put everything on. I, there's that, that's there's a lot that gets to go to set up. So you can't see the microphone here on the side or the camera that's right there on the side of the computer. But uh, yeah, I throw the mat out, sweep. I do lots of things. So I'm gonna put you all on. Be right back. Actually, I'm gonna put you all on stream starting. I'm gonna start the music, put you on stream starting, make sure everything sounds good. Let's actually start the music and then I will be back in just a minute. It's too early. I know it is Shadow Wolf, I know. All right, so stream, oh no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that, uh-uh. We're exercising today. So uh, playlist, no, artist, stations, all right, stations. So I'm doing this every time I do this, I go through, here I decide what sounds like would be good for uh, this exercise stream. Usually a hard, di uh, hard dance or something like that because everything else just doesn't really work up to it. So rock, ska, the elevator, traditional Latin, yacht, rock won't exactly be. All right, how about a beat dance? Let's see if that works, a beat dance. That may be okay. I'm gonna go. Bye, Shadow Wolf. Take care. All right, this mount sounds like it's doing pretty good. All right. I'm gonna go put this in the stream beginning. See you all in a couple of minutes. We'll start exercising shortly.
Good morning, Spidey. Good morning, Seven Giggle. Good morning, Shadow Wolf. Hello, hello. I did the behind the scenes stuff, then I went to the starting soon, and now we are beginning. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday morning. It is 8.31 a.m. for me, wherever part of the world you're in, I'm hoping it's wonderful. Let's get to the intro. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, whether you're on this planet or any other planet, whether you're in this universe or any other universe, whether you're in this dimension or any other dimension, you have found the original, the factory original, BB-80, the one, the only, Backward Bloom 80. What's going on, everybody? How do you think I did it? See, my lung capacity has gotten so much better. So much better. You can tell it's gotten so much better because I was able to hold that E for like, I don't know, 15 seconds. And before it was like, when I first started doing this, I'd go E and I'm out of breath in like about five seconds. So, so you got to see some behind the scenes stuff today. I did that on purpose. Turned off the microphone and just swept up the garage, threw the mat down with the flip flops, some behind the scenes. So you can get an idea of what it looks like when I'm having to set up to get the studio ready for you each time. But yes, you didn't come to see here to see me do studio setup. You came here to exercise and get in better shape and get that lung capacity to be better and better. And look at that, I do gotta say my arms are looking a little bit better. Not great, but they're, they're looking a little bit better. I'll take a little bit over the way it was, you know? So hopefully everybody is doing great this wonderful morning. I am going through and starting up my phone so I can get a timer. So yeah. It looks clean, yeah. So I was showing behind the scenes uh, before I hit, went to the starting screen, me sweeping and getting the mat down, adjusting the camera, the height of the garage to get the right line. You look amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm feeling a lot better than I when I started this adventure two months ago. Getting better. Getting in better shape. That's, that's what the whole purpose of this is to do. No, I don't want to do 10 minutes. No, 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 no. 10 minute running pace, yes. Three minute exercise pace is better. But thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, uh, that, that. That means a lot. It really does. It helps motivate me. <sighs> Push me forward. All right, got my water, got my timer. I hope the music's okay. I didn't do a lot of thinking into the music. I'm still doing some adjustments to make sure everything looks good. I think that the camera height is all good and stuff. I think you all can hear me okay. I lowered the music to where you can hear more of my voice than the music. If the music needs to be a little bit louder, please let me know. But otherwise, let's start with some stretches. Oh my goodness. is what my watch says, so till 9.35, 9.35, oh my goodness, I will be exercising, stretching, punching, jumping jacks, something, we're just going to keep moving, either 8.35 or I become so exhausted I just can't or want to continue, so there you go, stretching is very, very important, oh my goodness, You know when you haven't done anything, it's a, when you first wake up in the morning, which is what I'm doing right now, whew. 
I'm not loose yet, so my whole body feels like extremely uh, tense. Almost sore like. Just continue to stretch. Oh. If you need to do more stretching after the timer goes off, do more stretching. Got to show y'all that I haven't combed my hair. There's my balding head for everyone to see. Run back. It's just me getting out of bed and showing you all that it's time to get moving. It's time to exercise. The music is not as upbeat as the ones from before, but I needed a little bit different variety because I kept hearing the same songs over and over. So, Lady Honey just went live. All right. All right, stretch has, has been done. Let's get the timer started. We're gonna do some things that I don't wanna do, which is the squats. We're gonna work a lot on arms and legs. We're gonna do total body today. You could just do this, the swing back and forth, if you want. I'm gonna do a little bit harder because I need to push myself. But for you all that don't need to push yourself, these gallon jugs are full of water. You can make them sure they're full of sand and just flex. All right, let me start a timer. That's a freebie. Okay, now, for those that want the harder workout, flex, squat, flex, squat, flex, squat. Keep doing it. As you lower your arms down, you're squatting as you're coming back up. And if you want, you can squat down, flex, down, squat, down. Now back up, flex, doing your slow mo. So squat, up, flex, down, squat, up, flex. So you can see it in different motions. My arms are already hurting. For the back view, it's squat, up, flex, down, squat, up, flex. So there you go. Different views on how you can see that. You don't have to go fast. Just continue to move. That too easy for you? Spread the legs out. Mm. Deeper squat. That's too hard for me. I'm being honest. I can't. That's too much. If you want to go faster, go faster if you can go faster to get the heart rate up. Uh. Uh. Why am I grunting and groaning? Because this is tiring. If you don't want to use the water jugs, you don't want to use the weights, then it's up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 
up, down, up, down. Uh. Remember, you can widen your stance too. You can. You can get smaller weights. You can empty these bottles to half. They don't have to be full like mine are. Just keep moving. There's the timer. Ayin, how you doing, Ayin? Always hydrate. Always hydrate. Do not neglect hydrate. You're right on time, Hayin. That was exercise one. I started at 835, which was seven minutes ago. I'm going an hour. So I'm gonna be doing just chatting this weekend. Got it. I did. I sure did. I'm going to go a full hour today. I'm looking away, distracted because I don't like guests that are mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are not guests in this exercise dojo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going for a full hour today. That was exercise one. I'm going to go a little bit slower today because I got to last an hour. So I can't go gung-ho for an entire hour. I will not last. But yes, I will swat in a mosquito because I don't want mosquitoes stinging me. I thought I'm late, so no, no, no. You're not late at all. I did stretches, and then I did the armless to squat. Armless to squat. I did it with weights because I'm trying to get my weights back up. That's what we did. So, mosquitoes not welcome in the stream. Yo, no, they're never mis. No mosquitoes welcome in my stream ever. Never, ever, ever. All right. So, the next thing I'm gonna do. Easiest exercise you could do. Go at your pace, but I'm gonna be. Figurating around everything. I just started the timer, and I can tell right now I'm gonna slip and fall on my bum. So I'm gonna move it a little bit further out over here. Move my mat back just a tad. That's why I'm gonna fall on my bum, is because I'm running into the mat. But since you can't see my feet, let's move this back a little bit. So you can see my feet. There we go. And we're gonna just keep going like this for the entire three minutes because we're trying to get cardio going. You can go slower if you need to, but the whole idea is to get cardio up and moving. If this is too easy, Start throwing punches as you go through each one. When you get here to the middle, punch, 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 but don't, whew, whatever you do, don't slip and fall. You need to move things out of the way, like an exercise mat, to have clearing so you don't slip, then do that. If you want to make it something different besides running, hop, squat, hop, squat. I can't do that, it's too much. But you can do that. If you're needing something to push yourself, that's too much for me right now. One more time, I'll show you the hop and the squat. It's hop, Squat, hop, squat, and then back. 
That's too much for me. You can then reverse the figure eight if you like. You don't always have to go the same direction. You can also go side to side. Reversing it. Just make sure you don't trip and fall over the jugs. Be aware of what you're doing. I hear the timer and I'll look at your comments in just a second. I'm not where I want to be yet. So this is good on the feet and good on the cardio. Because the cardio of mine, it's getting up there. I can feel my heart beating really fast. Heart's beating quick. All right. Cardio, exactly. I love this drill, great. I'm, like, I'm glad you like it. I can just mark it on the floor, right? Anything. I have water jugs. I have cones. You can put cones. You can put a plate. Anything, two pillows. So that way if you step on it, you're stepping on a pillow. You're not tripping over something, you're just stepping on a pillow. Whatever you want. They can be anything you want. So use what you can that you have for surrounding. Cones. I have cones, good. Use cones. I'm using water bottles. That's what I have close to me. But yeah, cones, piece of paper, two rocks. If you wanna go get a rock out of the street, if you're doing it outdoors, Two water bottles that are like such. You can put two of these. Just run around. And you don't have to go at, at any particular pace. You can just go a slow, easy pace. You don't even have to go at eight. You can just go around in a circle. Slowly. For those who love to dance, you can do the, the cha-cha, the, the merengue, woo, move the hips. All around the jug. Get a dancing partner with you. Get your son, get your daughter, get your husband, wife, your, whoever you want, your significant other. Dancing is very good cardio. No, I can't dance very well, but I'm having a good time, feeling the groove. So, do whatever you can do to make it worth your time. Go to the beat or whatever you need to go to. Different ideas that you can try to make this more fun for you, you know what I mean? The cha-cha, exactly, I'm showing my age, yeesh. So Windows has an update. They can do that after I'm off stream. All right, so I think they got the idea of that. Why did I lose stream? Oh my goodness, am I off the air? I hope not. All right, good, I'm not off the air. Ah, oh, Windows. The other thing I was showing you all, I'll do a few, is the bunny hops. Bunny hops are simple. You're in the squat, you're jumping up, back down. Up, back down. That's very hard on me, but it's something I'm pushing myself to do. I don't wanna trip over those, so that's why I'm moving out of the way. But yes, it's hard for me to do, but I'm gonna do them. So, I have my feet, watch, you see them? They're off the ground, they're not flat. I'm bending them, and then I go hop down. I'm landing with both feet on the ground, 
and then I get it back into the squat position. So, again, from the forward, it's down, feet up off the heels, off the ground, hop, hop, and keep doing that. That squat is really hard, it is. So you don't have to go all the way down. You can make it right here where you can see. All right, you can low, hop, hop. You're barely bending the knees. You can see I'm bending. If that's still too hard because you have bad knees, then hop, hop, hop. Small hops, kind of like jumping in place, but you're moving. So go with what you can do. The lower you go, the harder it is. I feel the leg burning. I feel it. Give you a from the backside look. Oh, you probably can't see my feet, but hop, hop, hop. Front, so you already saw I think, but hop, hop, hop. Keep doing that. Do with what you can handle. Don't go following the pace of the instructor. The instructor may be a little bit more advanced than you. In a lot of cases on these pro videos, they definitely are. So keep your pace of what you can do. That's I hear the timer. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling the burn on those legs. I'm gonna walk it out. Come on. Take a little small break. I lose balance. Makes it harder to hop. Oh no. Okay. Not a worries. Do your pace, Ayin. Again, instructor may be a little bit more advanced than you because the instructor may be further along in the training program. So, back down. If the hop's too much, if you can just squat, stand back up, take one, two step, then back down, then back up, one, two, no hopping. Just go like this, no hopping. You're still getting the motion. And then when you can start hopping, start doing it. But don't push yourself where you hurt yourself or go beyond what you can do right now. Work your way up to it, okay? I've been training for two months as you've seen. So, from the front view, squat, walk, two steps, squat, two steps, squat, two steps. Back, squat, two steps, squat, two steps, squat. You get the idea. So you can see how you can alternate things. There's always, makes it harder. <laughs> so yeah, you can always alternate things as you need to make it a better pace for you. And that's what you wanna do. Hydrate, yes, thank you. How much muscle pain, there's a lot. Thank you for the hydrate, Spidey, I appreciate that. Thank you. Fortunately, I have more water in there, which you can't see off screen. But this whole hour, I'll probably finish this whole jug, of this, whole, this whole thing of water. Excuse me one second. One more moment. Okay, sorry about that. I'm an allergy sufferer. And so what ends up happening is, uh, when I'm waking up, I have a lot of congestion. And so when I start exercising, it starts draining, I have to uh, saliva. Some mucus that I gotta get out of my system. 
So yes, thanks for the hydrate. I appreciate it. A week. How, how long is the muscle pain? A week. Um, usually a couple of days. I mean, usually a couple of days you'll feel the muscle pain, but if it's going a lot longer, then you need a stretch. If you're getting a lot of muscle pain in the legs, the arm, whatever's hurting, stretch. So there's lots of ways you can stretch. You can just, if it's leg pain, now I'm pulling this one down and I'm also pushing on this one, pushing it back like I want to lean into this one. If you really want to get the lean into it, you just lean the direction your leg's in. I feel all the pain, not the pain, but the stretch right at this part of the leg down here. So I'm leaning into it. Switch sides, and then you'll feel all the stretch. So you want to stretch whenever you feel pain. If it's excruciating pain, see a doctor. If you have just minor soreness, just soreness, you can take, if depending on your health, I don't know your health, but you can take ibuprofen, Tylenol, some, something that will help with pain. But again, if it conflicts with a different medicine you're taking, consult your doctor. I'm no doctor, so I can't tell you what medicines you can take, but you should know what you're allowed to take and what you're not, so follow those instructions if you're under a doctor's care. I take a leave, that's what I personally take, because the medicines I take doesn't hurt, it doesn't harm it. So, I am uh, apologizing if you hear all the lawn mowing in the background. That's what happens Saturday morning sometimes. So if I'm gonna talk with you all, which I'm doing right now, I wanna stay moving, I wanna stay active. That's why you see me marching in place and pulling up my knees, because I don't wanna lose the high I'm currently in. I don't even have the timer going. I'll get the timer going in just a second, but marching in place, swinging arms, nothing wrong with this either. I'm going up high, you can go lower. So let's do that. The timer already went off, but I'm gonna start it again and we'll do the marching in place. Stretch, okay, yes, stretch. Whatever part of the body is hurting, do the stretch. So if it's your arm, put it back behind your head like such. See where my hand is? I'm touching the lower part of my bark. I'm getting this hand here, and I'm pulling down on it to feel the stretch all up and down this arm here. So stretch. I keep my hand flat. I'm not moving it. I'm just trying to show you on the camera where it's at. It's from the side view. Stretch. You're getting your fingers and you're pulling this to stretch out this whole arm. You'll feel it all up in here. Try that for yourself if it's your arms that are sore. You can also reach to the sky. If you're needing your back to be stretched, tippy toes, reach for the sky. There's lots of different stretches you can do in order to get yourself where you need to be. You can get the water jugs if you want to continue to do this march that I'm doing in order to help get more, more of a workout. So yes, so I, to those of you that uh, don't normally watch my channel, thank you for stopping in. This is my long workout. Saturdays I take more time to spend with you all to uh, slow down and show you some more techniques to show you alternate ways to do this. So you can uh, exercise. Huh. So welcome, I'm Backward Boom 80. A lot of people call me BB80. Hello, hello. So like I was showing you, you don't have to have the jugs, I mean, you can just go like yourself. And like I was also telling you, if you want the jugs, you can go lower on these. You don't have to go all the way up. Side view. You don't have to go all the way up. Miniature steps. Don't have to have the water jugs. Back view. If you wanna see it like how I'm doing it, I'm all the way up.
So there's different ways you can do that. So go as you need to do it. Go the pace you can need to do it. Remember, the uh, instructor has probably been doing it longer than you. I hear the timer, I'll get in a minute. So you don't have to go the pace of the instructor. The instructor is pushing themselves. That's what I'm doing, I'm pushing myself. You don't have to go the same pace. If you can't keep up, that's okay. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Do the pace you can do. And as I'll say a million times a broadcast, hydrate, slow sips. I use a straw because if I had a bottle of water, I'm like this for about 10 seconds. Drink, 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 drink. Straw gives me the little sip I need to get the hydrate where I'm not hurting myself and cooling off my body so fast that I get harmed. So what were you saying, Ayim? I think the squat thing you told me with the water container, the cha-cha will do for me. If that works for you, fantastic. That works fantastic. So the for you those of you who haven't seen, the cha-cha-cha is just shuffling side to side, moving your arms, cha, cha, cha. You can even do the, the moving of the hands, twirling, Go into figure eight. See how I'm going slow? Move my arms, move my shoulders, uh, you know? You could go a faster pace, you could go slow, whatever tempo you want. So that way you can make it work for you. Tone the legs, exactly. So, speaking of legs. I'm bringing a lawn chair. Let's get the camera over where you can see it. So there we go, legs. Up against the wall, you have a chair. You can stretch the legs like such. This is a good stretch for the legs if you need it. It gives you height, gives you pull. This is really good at stretching. If you want to use the chair, you can arms back. I've shown you this before. In a chair seating position, you're lowering the arms, you're squatting down. Hold. Five seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, lift up. My legs are not straight. They're not straight at all, they're bent. Back down. One, two, three, four, five. You are exercising all this part of the arm right here. This is gonna feel the burn. This is giving you a different type of workout. You gotta have the chair up against something that will not slide. A lot of people use this the bed, on the edge of the bed, they'll put their arms like this, they'll lower down, they'll hold, five seconds, and then back up. So you could do that with your chair, with your bed, anything you need in order to help. To stretch, again, the side of the bed, the bed's not gonna go anywhere. You don't have to have shoes on the bed, you can use your bare feet, you see how my foot is stretched? I'm stretching my toes, stretching the heel, everything on my foot is being stretched. Switching sides. I use my outdoor chair because that's what's available to me. You can alternate from stretch to what is called chair dips. You don't have to hold the five seconds. You just can keep going and repetition. You're gonna feel the burn on your arms and your legs. Man, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that pretty strong. Because 
you're doing a squat, being assisted by the back of your arms. Your legs are gonna feel the squat, your arms are gonna feel the push. Whew. The other thing about a chair, you can do, I'm gonna get this where you can see it a little bit better. You can be sitting back in your chair, your gaming chair, you're laying back. Kick your leg as high as you can. My sweaty, sweaty legs. I'm slouching, don't slouch. Up, up, sit up straight. Up, up, up. Keep going, keep going. I'm grabbing the arms of the chair hard because I don't want to slip. I'm super sweaty. Again, the reason why I have an outdoor chair because if I'm sweaty, I can hose it down. On an office chair, on a gaming chair, I can't. You know, whew, that's hard, but it's easy. See how easy it is? You could also do the leg scissors. Again, I'm pushing myself. I want to go faster for me. Go as slow as you need for yourself. Whew. 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 So. Timer. I don't think it was ever going to go off. You can also lean into it where you're stretching up your back, you're pushing your leg out. Okay, let me give a better idea. Watch the leg. I'm going into it and I'm leaning the knee in, bending that foot quite a bit to get that knee in. I'm sit, I'm standing up as straight as I can. This one is kind of noodle-like. It's not even really giving much stress to it. Try to keep that back leg straight too. This is giving me a lot of stretch right in the knee area. I hear you. All right, hold on. All right, switch legs to continue the stretch. I'm about one foot on the chair. You can go a little further back if you want a further stretch. It's harder, but it can be done. Again, balance yourself. But these are good stretches to help you as well, okay? I should probably pick that up, but that's all right. Let's get the camera back in straight position. All right, so. I need this a long chair for this, yes. We have plastic chairs here. Plastic is fine. Whatever you have, as long as it doesn't slide. That's the important thing, don't let it slide, okay? I need to hydrate. So, for those of you that are watching this after the fact, I got about another 25 more minutes. Yes, 25 more minutes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Spidey. Appreciate it. If you want, you don't have, just type in the word hydrate so you're not using all your channel points. If you want to save them for something else in the future, feel free. Just say, bloom, hydrate, BB80, hydrate. Type in those words and I'll go do it. You don't have to, just, but I appreciate it. Um, thank you for spending the channel points. Appreciate it. But you're an exercise, just say hydrate and I'll do it. But yes, um, I'm going to continue for another 25 minutes. Saturdays are the days I'm going to take it a lot slower, show you more things, do more talking than my Monday and Wednesdays. Monday and Wednesdays, I got to get my cardio up. I need to get uh, in a lot faster pace because I don't have the time that I do on Saturday. So if I go an hour and a half on Saturday, two hours on Saturday, so what? I got nothing going on Saturdays. Mondays, Wednesdays, I got to go to work right after the stream is over. 
So I do have to quickly, quickly, quickly get through an exercise routine that gets my heart rate up and pushes my limits. So Saturdays is the perfect day to come out and see me if you want alternatives like, hey, what else can I do? Some advice, some uh, slower pace, because you can see I'm taking a lot more breaks than I would during the week. So welcome, welcome to everyone who's watching this on VOD, who's watching this live. You all are amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. You'll see different exercises that I'm repeating that from before because they're good, strong exercises. You'll see some new things you haven't seen before. So do what works for you. Whew. So Ayin, arms up in the air, Ayin, up high, one leg out. You're not squatting, you're just one leg out, one leg in. One leg out, one leg in. Keep repeating like that. Go as quick as you can. I'm doing a slight bend on my knee when I go. Not deep, just slight. So you can see a side view. A slight bend. My arm consistently in the air. It's a slight pull. Want more? I'm not gonna be able to do this for very long. And you don't have to go deep. You can go further out if you want, but just slight. This is too hard on my left shoulder. So I'm gonna do it without. Keep these arms up. You don't have to be far out. If you want to go deeper, you can. Make sure your back foot is off the ground, like you're pushing to jump, okay? Alternating, almost like you're rocking back and forth. Those are not something that's very quick in cardio, but it gets some stretching and it keeps you moving. The whole idea of my exercises is to keep you moving. Again, I'm going deeper because this challenges me more. So don't, if this is too much of a challenge, slight step, you don't even have to get your foot off the ground. If you do it slightly, that's fine. Slight step. Important thing is you don't let your arms down the entire three minutes. Keep them up in the air. If you want, you can hold a broomstick up in the air if you want. A broomstick or a broom. That way you can know that you're not like this. You want your arms above your head, straight above your head. You're stretching the arms. You're working your legs. You're working your back. You're working Lots of parts of your body. Let's not hear the timer. Timer can wait. Front view. Back view. Stretch it further back. Simple exercise that'll give you some good stretches to help you out. As you can see, there's not a lot of pace to that. It's slow, it stretches, it's easy to do. So use that as you need. Okay? Slow, easy, make it work for you, okay? Make it work for you. Continue to hydrate. We're gonna go to mule kicks. Mule kicks. You all know I've done many, many times. You get into position like such, and you just go all the way up with the leg, mule. 
you can see that's up like such. My leg at an angle like such, all the way up. Mule. One, two, one, two, one, two, and keep alternating. If you want, you can do one, two, three, four, five, all the way. Go straight back. You don't want your leg going out. No, you want it straight back, like such. So concentrate, go slower. If you can go fast, go fast. Get your heart rate up. Get the exercise going. Make it work for you. If you can do it. If you can't, slow. If this is hard on your knees and the exercise mat's not doing it, put a pillow between, right under your knees. But go, make sure you're keeping form. You don't want to go so far so fast that you're just playing your legs everywhere. That's not the purpose of the exercise. If you want to do that, then you go straight legs, turn. Other side, straight leg, turn. If you want to do that, you can. But we're doing mule kicks. That's the mule kick. You're working your lower back. Sorry about the lawnmower, folks. You keep your form. Form's important, because if you twist, and you can possibly hurt yourself. I'll see your chat comment in a second. Thank you for leaving a comment. One moment, about one minute left in this exercise, and I'll see what you had to say. But thank you for coming in and at least leaving a comment. I appreciate that. I have fists, you can do flat hand. My preference is fist. That's my preference for my hands. Do however you feel is good with you. Find your form, 30 seconds. Push through, 30 seconds. Sorry about that, folks. You can see it. I hate it. Peter, let's go! Yeah! How are you doing today, Peter? How are you doing, Chef? Whew. Working out. Getting a great workout today, Chef. Getting a great workout. This has been great today. Lots of great, great exercise. Got about 10 more, 15 more minutes. We'll go 15 more minutes. Ooh, stay hydrated. Ooh. There you go. Exactly, love it, thank you. Right there, exactly, thank you. All right, what's the next one? We're gonna do, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> There's so many we could do, and my brain is tired. So what's my liar, tired self gonna do? He's gonna lay on his back. He's gonna put his hands beneath, and he's gonna go upwards to have a straight back, and then back down, without lifting my head. Up, down. Ugh. Up with the leg in the air, down. Up, straight back, leg in the air, down. Up, uh, down. Uh. You want to go slow with this. You don't want to go 
You're not wanting to do this. No, don't do that. I want you to go slowly because I want you to feel the burn. Go slow at it because you're going to feel all the pull in your back and your legs. Put your hands under your bum if you need to for support if you need it. But the whole idea is to get straight. So you can see, if you want to hold it to get more of a burn, hold it five seconds. Then all the way down. The next one, up. Hold five seconds. Ooh, that's burns. Easy exercises that will, you'll feel the burn. Oh my God, I have my toes pointed, as you can see. They're not straight up like such, they're pointed. Oof. You'll feel it in the legs, you'll feel it in the lower back, over here. Ugh. Whew. Breathe. Don't talk a lot like me. Breathe. Yes, we're gonna hydrate. Again, that looks easy. It's easy to do, but my God, is it a beast of an exercise. No one's asked me this, but the water I'm drinking is just regular water. I don't have ice in it. It's cool water. It's not ice cold water, it's cool. Because if you cool down too fast, it could shock your heart and cause a cardiac arrest. So, cool water, not frozen ice cold. If you're getting frozen ice cold, very, very little sips. You could take a little bit longer of a sip with just room temperature because you want to keep your body temperature good. You don't want to go from the real hot range down to the real cold range like that because, again, you have run the risk of giving your body a chance of getting cardiac arrest. You don't want that. So cool water. I don't think I've ever said that before, but cool water. Yes, it's dangerous. So that's why you never see me get this, throw the straw away, and then just chug, 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 chug. No, don't do that. If you happen to watch runners in a race, they get the little cup of water. A lot of times, you'll see them take the entire cup of water. What they're doing is they're sipping a little bit, they're rinsing their mouth off to get all that dryness out, and then they're spitting it out on the ground. They're not drinking the whole thing, they never do. So thank you for the info, you're absolutely right. Pro tips, yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, cool water, you'll see on race days. Race days, you see there's no ice in any of those cups on race days. This runner is running, they're 
going through, they're grabbing the cup, they're going, mm -hmm. spit, they're drinking a little bit, and then they're throwing the cups on the side. A lot of times also, they get in that cup when they're running, and then they're throwing the water on themselves, because again, it's not ice water, it's room temperature that's helping them cool down, especially if you're running on a hot day like it is here in Texas, you know? Drinking lukewarm water can burn more fat compared to cold ones. Good point, I didn't think about that. That's a great point, thanks for sharing that. Yes, if you need a Gatorade, a hydrant, do it. There's nothing wrong with a Gatorade or something like that. But try and get the uh, lower sodium or maybe a sugar-free, something that's gonna help if you're looking to burn fat. Go for a low-cal Gatorade. It doesn't have to be the full calorie one. I think I got some Gatorade. Hold on, I'll show you what I have. Of course, because I say it, I don't have it. How's that doing? I have the normal Gatorade, but this is the Gatorade I have. I have an orange. It has a little bit more extra electrolyte. I'm not drinking it right now because it is cold. I don't want it ice cold. But you can drink this as well. This is what I personally use. I don't think it shows on camera too well. It may be a little bit blurry, but it does say orange. You can see the label and stuff on it. So, yeah, feel free to uh, hydrate with electrolytes in order to get some of the salt you left behind. You can, they sell in exercise places what's called salt packs. When you're sweating a lot like I am right now, especially if you're running, especially if you're running or you're doing really, really hard exercises, you're losing a lot of salt. That's gonna cause cramps in the legs, in the arms, whatever you're exercising, you're gonna get cramps if you don't have the salt intake. That's what your Gatorade is gonna do. It's gonna help rehydrate you, get that salt intake because water doesn't have the salt that your body needs when you're sweating. So make sure to get that salt intake. Some people don't like Gatorade, so they'll drink water and they'll get Gatorade happens to sell salt packs that you can take in gel forms. There's also jelly beans that you can take. They're called energy jelly beans. Try to get the ones without caffeine. You really don't want the caffeine because the caffeine is gonna give you that adrenaline, but also gives you the crash and burn too. When that caffeine kicks you in, it's gonna get you to go like this. You're like, yeah! But then all of a sudden when it wears out, you're going, no! And you're worn out. So. If you get the ones that just have no caffeine, that have the energy, you're gonna go like this. It's gonna sustain. It's like eating a piece of fruit as opposed to a piece of candy. Piece of fruit's gonna keep your energy like this. Piece of candy's gonna go like this and like this. Before you know it, you're falling asleep going, I don't wanna do anything. Eat an orange, eat an apple, and guess what? You're cruising along on an easy going street, like such. Piece of cake. Not literally a piece of cake, figuratively speaking. You don't want to eat a piece of cake. So, like RS solution, very useful if you're dehydrated, exactly, exactly. Great, thank you for sharing that piece of advice as well. So you notice as I talk to you and I take it a little more easier, I am keeping my legs moving, I am keeping my arms moving because I want my cardio, my cardio to continue because when I'm running for five to six hours running nonstop, if I don't have the cardio, guess what? I'm not finishing the race. I want to finish the race. So tomorrow, it's gonna be my first test in a month for my last running test. I do running tests on Sunday, what's my Sunday, maybe the end of Sunday for some of you. But I do my test once a month on Sunday to see how far I progressed. And so, last time, I remember coming on stream on a Monday and I said, I feel so bad, feel horrible. Because I ran and my cardio was so bad that my three and a half miles that I ran, almost four miles, it took me close to an hour. And it drove me nuts. It was 47 minutes, if I remember. And it drove me nuts because I used to do four miles in 30 minutes. Four miles in 30 minutes. Actually, 35 minutes. Four miles in 35 minutes took me 47 minutes to do three and a half. I didn't even get the full four miles. 
So, very disappointed in COVID bloom. Very, very disappointed. But guess what? I have more breath in me now. I have more. It's taken a lot more to get my heart beat up. I can feel it. I can see it on the pulse taken of my watch. I feel tomorrow I'll get the four miles in. Now, will it be in my 35 minute form? No, it won't be. But I know that it won't be three and a half in 47 minutes. I know that. I'll be thrilled to death if I get three miles in 35 minutes. I'll be thrilled to death if I get that. I don't anticipate it, but tomorrow, if I'm not in bad shape for any reason, and the weather's okay for me to run, I'll let you know how I did on Monday morning. All right. Again, I'm just moving, continuing the, the pace to keep things going. All right, how are we looking on my exercise time? Let's do one more. One more good, strong exercise. What that'll be, I don't know, let's do, I guess let's do the scissor kicks. Timer, let's restart. So yes, slower paced Saturdays, more exercise Saturdays. We did the scissor kicks on the chair, now we're doing the scissor kicks on our back. Again, I'm trying to push my legs because I'm gonna push them really hard when I run in the morning. Weather permitting. If it's raining, I'm not running. I don't like running in the rain because there's too much chance of me getting in an accident. I'd rather not train and get in an accident. Whew. You can see I have my legs scissoring. I have my hands under my bum. My butt, if that's what you like to prefer me to refer to it as, my rear end, my hands are under for support. My legs are burning, so is my lower back. So I will take the break by bending my knees and holding until the pain subsides to where I can continue without it hurting me. Your professional instructors will go the entire three to five minutes without stopping because they have the strength. They have the core strength to do it. And they're pushing themselves. I don't have the core strength yet. I hope to get there. But if you don't have the core strength either, take the break. This is the most relaxing position for me. You can just go straight down. You can do that too. Whatever is more comfortable for you, do. I prefer this. But this is the last exercise. Then I'm gonna go to cool down uh, and then stream. So, for those of you that are watching this on VOD, thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you here live, thank you, thank you, thank you as well. For those of you who are just became a new follower, I appreciate you, you're amazing. I know I got a couple of new subscribers yesterday. You all are amazing for some of your support. The short streams that I do on a regular basis, subscribing to me means the world to me. So thank you. It is never, never necessary to hit subscribe, ever, ever, or even follow. So I really wanted to let you know I greatly appreciate that. It does mean the world to me. Mm. So thank you. Always, always thank you. Whew. I can't see the timer, but it looks like 20 seconds. Mm. Actually, it's now. All right, we're going to go into the cool down exercises. Read your final few comments if there's any. And then call it a stream. All right, come on timer. First, I'm going to hydrate. Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay. No new comments. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Cool down, folks. Cool down. And then we're, we're calling the stream. Cool down is just n nothing but stretches. 
bringing out the heavy chair again that we had earlier. Usually against the wall. You want this against the wall because look, if I push on it, I'm sliding the chair. So I'm just gonna do an alternate version where I'm pushing the floor, the chair down on the floor so I can work the shoulders. So I have leg back stretching that. I have my arms slightly bent. So I can, as in, I'm trying to straighten them up by pushing the chair down on the floor. I feel the pull all up and down my leg. I feel definitely the pull on my left and right shoulders. Switch sides. Again, the cool down stretch. Breathe in, breathe out through your mouth and nose. At the same time. Deep breaths in order to get cooled down. You don't have the chair. Use the same thing. You're doing the same push down. Arms slightly bent. I'm doing the same thing on the chair, but it's just like this on the ground. So you can do it that way as well. I mean, these are good stretches for you too. Going backwards like such. If I go forward, you go backwards. Good stretches on the legs, the shoulders, the back. These are great stretches for you, Aileen. Because you're looking for some stretching exercise. These are great ones. Some people can do their hands backwards like such. I'll try it. I can't but they'll have their, their hands, I'm trying. And they'll be straight up like such. And their hands almost touching the back of their feet. Up in the air, I can't do that. I don't have the flexibility yet. If you could do that, more power to you. I can't. <laughs> but you want, what they're doing is they're up in the arch with their hands flat and the arms extended, touching the back of the feet with their hands turned backwards. I can't do that. That's too advanced for me. You do it fantastic, but these are great stretches for you as well. I hear the timer. I'll get the timer in a second. Again, this is Saturday. There's no 911 for me to quit and go get on to work or anything else. It's Saturday. It's the easy Saturday, the lazy Saturday. Kill mosquitoes as you see them. Don't let them sting you. This is the bad part of doing exercises outside. Mosquitoes. Oh, okay. How was that for you all? How did you all feel? Hopefully you got a good workout. I'm staring at mosquitoes flying around that I can't kill. I hope you had a great workout today. Killed it, thank you. It was a great workout. I always enjoy doing Saturdays because I could take my time, go slower, show you all a thing or two, talk with you all a little bit about some of the exercise things I've learned over the years of running. Whew. So any support that I can give to you all, Saturdays is the best day for me. Whew. Thank you for the stream. Absolutely, I eat any time. I love doing this for you all because guess what? Nice one, yes. Guess what? You all are tired just watching you. <laughs> Thanks, Seven Giggle. Seven Giggle got a stream coming up together later this afternoon. If you have a chance, give them a follow. I think they're going to be doing that in about six hours, six or so five, six, seven hours, 
right around that time frame, they're going to be doing just the two of us or just us two or something like this. Or it takes two. I'm sorry. It's called it takes two. They're going to be doing that together. So please reach out. Give them a follow. Watch them if you're able to do that. It takes two. Yes. Me too. I feel like I'm losing weight just by watching. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Look, this is something I'm proud of. Look at that arm. It's getting some definition, I think. There you go. I can finally show it. It's getting some more definition now. It's not flab. It's not mostly flab. You can see I'm shaking. It's not going wiggle wiggle so much. It's getting a little, little more density in it. Before I was hitting it and it was going flab, flab, flab. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm not as embarrassed wearing, <laughs> wearing a, a tank top anymore. Sure, I'm pale as it goes because I don't get too much sun. My face, on the other hand, uh, is different. But yeah, I'm getting there. I feel a little bit more confident showing my shoulders and arms because I'm working it. My legs, I've always been proud of my legs. But yes, Lawnmower is coming over to say hello again. Hi, Lawnmower. Thanks for interrupting the stream. Actually, for giving the stream some sound definition. It's what happens on Saturdays. We mow lawns, we uh, weed eat, we pull weeds. Gotta love Saturdays. I love mosquitoes. That's why they're coming in here. They're mowing the lawn, so they're running and saying, ooh, a hot and sweaty bloom. Let's go sting him. <laughs> Let's go get some of that sweet bloom blood. <laughs> anyway, I could talk to you all all day. I appreciate you all coming out, uh, but I'm going to end stream here. So I want everyone to have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. If you're exercising, stay hydrated. No matter what you do, do it with love. Do it with happiness in the inside. I appreciate you all. You motivate me to keep coming out and do this. I've been doing it two months now, two months. Has my scale said any difference? My scale says my muscles are getting heavier because my belt is going, hey, I need to go on your body again, which is, it blows my mind that I've lost inches. I've lost inches, yes, inches. Key word, I'm loving that. But two months, I've been doing this two months my stomach is going down. I'm noticing it in my waist. Tomorrow, if it's not pouring rain, I'm out there running. So we'll see you Monday, and I'll tell you how I did in my run. See if my time got better, because my cardio is getting there. All right? You all are amazing. Take care. Stay safe. I'll see you Monday morning. If I stream for whatever, some odd reason, later today or tomorrow, I'll see you then too. But I don't have any further plans until Monday morning. Okay? So... Stay safe, stay loved, stay blessed. I'm with you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Take care, everybody. Why go forward when you go backwards? See you guys. Take care, everybody. We will see you at 7 Giggles stream later this afternoon if you can make it. Yay. Take care, everybody.